What's up ladies and gentlemen, Shader8 here with another video for you. I uh, figured I'd just make a quick one to talk about the Ryzen 5 2600 nice hash mining stats that I'm getting now. Um, so for anybody who's not aware, um, Kryptonite did a hard fork a couple weeks ago. Uh, so if you've been mining on Kryptonite on your CPU or on your GPU, I doubt you're doing it on your GPU, but at least on your CPU, uh, if you've been getting really shitty ass numbers like fucking 10 cents to 16 cents a day, you know, and you're pulling 600 uh, hashes a second and you're getting really crappy return on it, um, it's because Crypto and I did a hard fork and I didn't realize it until like two weeks after the fact because I just haven't been paying so very much attention to crypto the past couple weeks. Um, so what you want to do immediately if you're getting really... Really bad numbers on your crypto night from your CPU is go update your nice hash miner to version 1.9 alpha. Um, you have to use like the little drop down menu on the nice ha nice hash site, you know, for the uh, the AMD nice hash and find 1.9 alpha. That will have the uh, right there the crypto night v7 algorithm in there. And that's what you need to get in order to get back up to um, decent returns. So, as you can see, I'm running at about 627 hashes a second. Uh, my Ryzen 5 2600 is overclocked. Right now I have it at 4 gigahertz on all cores. Uh, just because I want to step down the voltage and see how much it changed between 4 and 4.1 for mining. Uh, at 4.1 I was pulling about 640 hashes a second. Um, but I was getting a lot of bad shares, like, you know, I was saying I, I can't remember exactly what it is because I haven't seen one in a while, but, you know, pretty much it wasn't accepting the shares. It was share not accepted by pool and stuff like that, I'm pretty sure is what it says. So I knocked it down to 4 gigahertz, um, and it's been doing pretty good. It doesn't give me the share not accepted by pool anymore. Let me just scroll over here real quick. So it's like result accepted by pool. Uh, result accepted by pool, result accepted by pool. So it is pulling results. Uh, so let's see if we can hit our results. So it's only missed five out of 46. So it's pulling about 80. Oh, sorry, hold on, let me fix that. So it's missed about five. It's pulling about 90% of its shares right now. And a couple of them were right off the bat, right when I started it up, um, from when I switched in between my 4.1 and my 4, so it was a little testy at first, but it's doing good now. It hasn't really been giving me any bad shares in a while. So, as you can see, it's averaging time, too, is only 158 seconds, which is way, way, way better than it was getting on the old algorithm. I think it was doing like 460 or 4, yeah, maybe 460 seconds or something like that, I think was the average time. Oh, well, there you go. Bam, result accepted by pool. Just got another one. Um, but so, as you can see, I'm back up to about $2.55 a day. Instead, you know, I was pulling fucking a uh, dollar and like 70 cents or 60 cents or some shit like that, you know, a couple days ago. So it's nice to be back up over two dollars for the first time in a couple months. Um, but yeah, if you try to download version 1.8.11 or 1.2 or whatever the hell the other one is, the newest one that's on NiceHash, it does not have the Crypto V7 algorithm in it. It says it removed the old algorithms. But it, they didn't add this one in there yet for some reason because their guests are still working on it and getting a little bit stable. Uh, so fair warning, it's not the most stable on the planet. Um, but as you can see, my coupled with my RX 570, it's doing pretty damn good. Um, but if you got any questions, you know, or can't find it, uh, can't get it to install or anything like that, feel free, you know, drop me a comment below. I'll do my best to, uh, to help you out. And just so you can see all the stats that I'm running my stuff at real quick. I'm on the newest adrenaline drivers as well too. Um, ever since I upgraded from my 2400G to this 2600, installing the adrenaline drivers has honestly been a fucking breeze. Everything works a lot better now. So, but yeah, that's what you can pretty much expect uh, with the 2600 at 4 gigahertz, pulling 620 hashes a second, around 647 or 48 hashes a second at 4.1. Um, so not too shabby at all. Um, but I'll have uh, another video coming up here soon. I'll be upgrading my buddy's 10-year-old PC into my old Ryzen 5 2400G processor. And uh, he's only spending about 300 bucks total. So we'll show you what kind of performance you can expect to get from investing 300 bucks into a 10-year-old PC. And see what kind of numbers we can come up with.
So, all right, guys, I'm going to cut it off here. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Hit the like button, you know, if you learned anything new or if, you know, you want to show me some love. Um, and again, feel free to comment below. Let me know what kind of numbers you're getting, what kind of, you know, cards you're running, what kind of CPU you got. Uh, I just like to chat. So uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>